Here's integrated three. This is problem 4 105. Um, it says, Do you remember the problem highlighting the students tardy to Miss Green's class? Now that you've investigated how to create and use a normal distribution, model the number of tardy students in her class uh, using a normal distribution. So I feel like they they want you to go back and look at problem, um, a different problem. But I think we just got to put these, like on letter A, it says, on your calculator, recreate the relative frequency histogram for the number of tardy students per day that is shown in 4-76. I think we just put these numbers in and just do what we always do when we get histograms. So I'm gonna share the screen and we'll just type the numbers. Let's see if I'm doing it right. We'll type the numbers into Desmos. So Desmos. Okay, so I typed, I um, all I did is I went to Desmos uh, graphing calculator and then I I typed L1 equals and then I typed the one of those square brackets and then I entered all those numbers uh, one by one with commas in between them and I ended it with a square bracket. I saw that there was 30 items in the list so I thankfully I typed them correctly and now I I wanted to do the checksum so I wrote total L1 and I got 82, that's the checksum. So now I'm recreating, I'm on letter A, recreate the relative frequency histogram. So I am going to make a histogram. So you can just start typing hist, histogram. Okay, if you just type the whole word histogram, then open some parentheses then it'll give it to you or you can just go down here to the bottom of the screen and use all the functions and you could search and scroll to find it. Um, it says data set and bin width. So I want L1. And I don't know what I want my bin width to be. I think I'm going to let it be one because when I look at the, I don't know, I'm just, I'm going to let it be one and see if that works. Uh, comma one. Okay, I always like my bins aligned like a left alignment, and there's lots of reasons for that. And then it wants a relative frequency histogram, so I'm going to hit the little relative button. And now it's shrunk my graph down, I'm going to hit this little plus, this zoom fit. And I think that's about right. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Yeah, so, so we're doing fine. So I've recreated on letter A, I've recreated the relative frequency histogram. Letter B says, what are the mean and standard deviation? Okay, so I'm just, there's lots of ways to do this. I'm just gonna type in mean of L1. And that gives me 2.7333. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to type in, I think it's STDEV for standard deviation. You can always use the, the menu down here if you want to. But I, I'm starting to memorize these shortcuts. L1. So the standard deviation. So there, there's the mean and the standard deviation they're asking for in letter B. On your cal letter C says on your calculator, model the data with a normal distribution. And it's trying to give you some hints on like how to how to do it with a TI-83, but we've got the Desmos. So we're just gonna, um, I think it's probably like normal dist, normal dist. And then I'm just gonna tell it L1. Oh, okay, wait. So when I say normal dist, then it tells me what it wants. It wants the mean comma standard deviation. So I'm gonna type that mean, or maybe I could copy and paste it. We'll see how that works. With a comma, and then I'm gonna to try to copy and paste the standard deviation. Okay, 
so there it is. Um, and then, so I see that that's letter C. So letter D says, uh, according to your model, on what percentage of days were four or more people tardy? Shade this portion on a new sketch of the model and calculate the proportion using normal CDF. So I got the CDF right here. And so this is Desmos, so it's very easy. I'm going to push this button. And then I, I think I want to put, did it say four? So I got from, so it's because it said, um, what is the percent of days or the percent for four or more absences? So I've got 13.3% ish or 13.4%. You can, let's see how the book rounds it. They rounded it to, they're just gonna say 13. So right here is 13.4%. And here's your sketch if you need to sketch that for your homework. Um, I guess that's all we need for letter D. Okay, so now letter E. Assume the la that the last 30 days were representative of 180 days in the school year. According to your model, how many days this year can Miss Ex can Miss Green expect four or more tardy students? So we've already got the percentage right here for four or more tardy students. So we can just take that percent. I'm going to round it to thirteen point four. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave it as a decimal, right? Because I want I want here. I want. Hey, I'm just going to cut and paste the whole thing. Maybe it's still. No, it's not. Let's. I'm going to multiply this decimal by. How can I put times? Sorry, I know there's something on my keyboard, but there. I just multiply it by um 180 school days, and that actually gives me the number of. Uh, that gives me the answer to the question. It's 24 days. Um, it says, according to your model, how many days this year can Miss Green expect four or more tardy students? So I took the percentage from the four or more tardy students, but I had to write it as a decimal. And then I multiplied it by the 180 school days and I got that. And that's, that's all. Oh, I guess I have to stop share. And then stop recording.